<sighs> so, hello, my name is King of Shosh, and welcome to the Microsoft E3 conference. I'm actually kind of excited for this one, even though Microsoft's been a bit shit the past couple of years, hoping for some good shit. What do you think about this development, Jessica? Here once again with my girlfriend Jessica, who is it's her first time watching E3 stuff, so it's an interesting time, and let's just get the fuck on with this. Boom. Start call. Oh, I've got to be drinking with you. Oh, I'm still at home now. Are we getting a light? What? What's with that stage? That's so weird. Do you really like it in the Come on, Fable. I want a new Fable. New Halo, new Fable. That's what I'm talking about. Is this Tomb Raider? Seems like it's probably going to be Tomb Raider. Definitely Tomb Raider. Definitely see it wet. No way, those, those <laughs> horse fit weird things look really fucking weird. Forza? Recall? What is happening? Stargate the game. That's all I can think of from the circles. You never know. What the fuck is this? One net. Joined by two other men. Oh, they were marines from Halo for a second. <coughs> what is it though? That's old school armor, so what is this? What is it though? What is it though? What is it? Halo Infinite. What? Is it like an MMO or some shit? I am so confused right now, this is not Halo 6, clearly. But aren't all Halos infinite because they're a circle? <laughs> tell us more, please do not be like a... Here you go, bro. tell you more in three years time, because it's been a long fucking time since that. Please welcome the head of Xbox, Bill Spencer. Mr. Hand in Pocket Gesture himself. Mr. Innovation. Bow down to a fucking to, to future me, get a fucking timer up for any time he puts his hand in his pocket or his innovation. I'm gonna hate myself for saying that later and I have to edit this, but I don't care. With Halo Infinite, we will join Master Chief on his greatest adventure yet to save humanity. We are now at a moment of exceptional creativity in gaming. We can't wait to show you what Creativity Unleashed looks like for you. So all the gamers around the world, across time zones and languages, tells to Halo. every single person watching us on TV what? and Halo. the mixer, Halo. and to our largest ever live audience, the thousands of you with us right here in the Microsoft Theater, welcome to E3 I have to tell you a fucking huge ass fucking thing going on this year. Something. I'd like to personally thank everyone who's joining us from FanFest. I do not know what but okay. A hundred percent of the proceeds from your FanFest tickets are going to Gamers Outreach. Thanks to you, kids in children's hospitals get to game with their friends in their favorite worlds. It's a great cause. That's what I appreciate most about gaming. Gaming brings us together. Gaming connects us. It inspires our truest cooperation. It creates some of our fondest memories of 
was not bringing people together. And our deepest conversations about the stories within games. Most of all, gaming fosters real community. It reaches across age, ability, race, gender, and geography. This is why I've always believed, and will always believe, that gaming is the great unifier. And what unifies us is our shared love of this art form. Legendary characters who captivate us. Not just for 10 hours, but for 10, 20, 30 years. Bold stories that inspire the hero within us. Iconic worlds that are so richly imagined, we feel excitement in the air and danger on the seas. Doing it. As gamers, doing it. we are at a momentous time where creative vision and cutting edge technology together are delivering the art form we love. So, for months, our teams and I have traveled the world, meeting developers from Japan to Poland, from the UK to the Ukraine, from big studios to single Ooh, developers. Creators who seize the full power and potential of Xbox One to express their most daring vision for games. Today, we've curated a bold showcase of their best yeah, work and ours. Oh, well done. 50 games. <laughs> 18 titles with exclusivity. Yeah, but is it PC exclusive as well? That's how it goes in Korea. Sebo! Sebo! It's not going to happen, but it's still on it. If they are now skate ball, it's still going to go on a race skate ball until the day I die. All demonstrate what true artisans can create. Mind-blowing art, immersive sound effects, breathtaking worlds. So let's jump in. Exclusive. Nice, you jumped into some fucking halo. I want to know what it is. Didn't the usual, we'll give you a tease and then fucking show you six years later. Orion, or whatever the fuck it's called. What's good? Sequel to Orion, the Orion, Orion, something. I never played it, so I wouldn't know. Oh my god, it's so cute. Oh, it's like Sonic Adventure. Yeah, what it is, I need to play it. You remember the shadow drop ones? You can be out there. I'm just curious what shadow drops you're going to get. Invite me to a party. I've not even finished watching you three and people have fucking invited me. Like, no, go away. Yeah, people will say. Yeah, apparently, this one's like really emotional or something. Yeah. So I don't know. Will of the Wisp is it called or something? Let me guess, February. I don't know if it was February, they would have said that probably. World premiere. Just put the fucking screen on. <laughs> Is this? I'm gonna guess it's not. No, it's not, no more. Oh. I mean, it's it. Just yet. Oh, 
I was say, it feels like a fucking from software game. Oh, 
our way of life will endure. Down on the water, rich mountains, What the fuck is that? That's a really bad set of all the cars. For when the fighting is stopped, in the fallout has settled. You must rebuild. Not just walls, not just buildings, what the but fuck? hearts, minds, <laughs> and ultimately, America itself. In Vault 76, our future begins. And then when filming. <laughs> World premiere. Premier. Spirit of my silence, I can hear you, but I'm afraid to be near you. And I don't know where <laughs> to begin. And I don't know where to begin. <laughs> Oh, no, okay. This is Chris of the Flying Fortress. Have you spotted Snowmancer? Not yet. Keep me posted. Chris, breakfast. Okay, Dad. Where's the feels gonna come in? Who dies? Is what happens? Gear? I don't need a lecture for my son. I always get picked last for the team at school. And they never throw the balls at me. They can't tell stories like you can, can they? No way. Start the launch. This is really fucking weird. Oh, Change the world. Yes. I hope so. I know so. I don't think it's awesome a spin-off thing, but I kind of like it. Download if Drew was a kid in this episode, but then season two is him growing up. Mm -hmm. Oh, he's in it, growing up. It's like an adult or a teenager, I don't fucking know which one, but that'd be kind of cool. Did the, was there a release date on that? I completely missed if there was. Uh, Jim, Maybe it's a Welcome to Crackdown 3. The only game built like me. Beautiful. Like a skyscraper. Fall at your face. If you want to play on my level, please follow my lead. Somebody give me my jam. <laughs> Terry Crews is in the fucking game. Oh my god, yes. yes. Please tell me he's playable. I'm playing as Terry Crews, I don't give a shit. Terry Crews the fucking video game. Yeah.
<laughs> Stop coming there in February! I've already got two fucking games lined up. Two! We will take that out from the spurs of the machine. I thought it was exclusive. Don't really care too much about the game overall, but my god, it's got a skeleton. I don't know if that was powers inside which they I don't think they did, but it just looked like they did. Oh, I'm not sure. I'm not going to do much. And the skies oh, rained me silent. Not my deal. And the ground oh, burned to ash. And the seas boiled. And people turned into shadows. So let us not fear the heretics at our door. Even with their iron steeds standing before us, stinking of machine oil and shining its heretical light upon us. Remember, most of the country has been destroyed or occupied. Even those who speak our language might be enemies, by conviction or out of fear. We will not falter. Let us steel ourselves against them. For this is our hour of glory. Amen! Let's move out, Artyom. Oh, same characters, isn't it? September, October, November, yeah, but why is everything in February? It's like four games so far I've seen, or maybe, that are out in February. Metro had me at its gritty visuals, brutal landscapes, and its mystery yeah, and it's the ruins fall. of upground. <laughs> what I love about our art form is the vast range of creative expression, from grim post apocalyptic battles to hand painted nice spirit well, well. guardians. Go back on stage. Whatever world these creators build, whatever story they tell, whatever sound effects they use, we will work with creators to guarantee that their games look and play best on Xbox One. Like this next game, generations have loved role-playing games from Invented Studios in Japan. Mm. Our next game is the latest in a legendary series. For the first time ever oh, wow. on Xbox, said Jap Japan Kingdom Hearts. So. Oh, I'm still holding the fail on that one. It's cold! Guess these two used to the beach. Hey, Are they going to introduce Elsa or something? Look! Even the sea's turning to yeah, ice. They are. Oh my god. This is why I don't play Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> I have no interest in the Disney shite. 
Here's where she jumps up in the uh, whips out like fucking 60 machine guns. That would be cool. Oliver, are these your friends? No, never met him. Don't know anyone blue, green, or who's on this screen. Why? Did I hurt first? God. 
rimelig munch. Hvad er det der, som er vakkert og forstyrrende? Der er jo hele tiden bare en tog med historier, skamninger og munster. Vi ved, at nogen er til hytte. Bare fortæl mig, hvem det er. Oh, thank God, I thought that was what she wanted for a mission and I don't really give a shit, to be quite honest. <laughs> Is it in England? Left side of the road. Oh, falls are in England, I'm down for that. I mean, I don't know you're going to have a party atmosphere in the middle of fucking wherever the fuck it's meant to be, but... Brand new 60 FPS mode. 
Cool for our favorite butterfly. Oh, the light seven two for a five hundred and twelve point six. As you can see, Horizon Four is still full of action-packed fun. And now we're going to show you how seasons change everything. In Horizon 4, every season changes the world around you, with oh, each bringing its own unique beauty about. and unique gameplay. One of the great things about the this short world is that it's easy to interact with the people you meet. Here, Solomon and Rebecca use the new quick chat feature on the D-pad to start a new friendship. Monster it looks Randy. like Rebecca has found some like-minded friends. Monster it's great to play solo, but it's better to play with others. Horizon 4 lets you seamlessly enter co-op from within the game world. Seasons, time of day, yeah. and weather yeah. conditions are dynamic, they but they are synchronized so for much. every player, yeah. so the entire community will experience them at the same time. Why the shit? God. And I doubt that's live as well. I feel now, like as we all orchestrating this live part of it together. Let's mm -hmm. see how this scene looks in winter. And now we go to the north of the country. In winter, the lake has frozen solid, and previously inaccessible areas can be reached. The trees have entirely lost their leaves, and snow and ice covered the terrain. The visuals and the driving experience couldn't be more different. And now a plant has appeared over the ice to signal the start of a new world event. Forza Online invites the entire community to come together and cooperate to win big rewards. <laughs> and while making it off to the event, I'd like to show you how the world of Forza Horizon 4 looks in spring. I follow in spring, to be quite honest. Once again, okay. the world Here changes anyway. completely it's with the season, winter. bringing new driving experiences, well, at least it's new raining, they got that right. Yeah. events across the whole world. Every season, there are new reasons to play Forza Horizon 4, and the huge, creative, fun-loving Horizon them, community like, each season will be there to life. enjoy them. I'm not you. entirely sure. I'm guessing that's the case. Today, you've seen a completely new take on Horizon. In Forza Horizon 4, you will live in a vast, beautiful world in which dynamic seasons change <laughs> it's kind of funny, it's only been able to start the world. Xbox One and Windows 10 <laughs> well, I get October what saying, 2nd, but... and I am thrilled to announce that it will be included in Xbox Game Pass on the same day. Woo! I'm not actually going to get Game Pass here. Please welcome back. Because I'm always unsure about the time Cold Christ or Fall Game, I'm not completely interested. Therefore, I'm not going to Game Pass, so I'm going to get Game Pass. Hello. We know that exclusive games from our Microsoft Studios are what originally turned so many of us into Xbox fans. <laughs> My team and I take our commitment to you seriously to make Xbox One the best place for you to play and for you to have the best games on the world's games. most powerful console. This is why we're increasing our investment in our existing franchises that you already love. And this is why we are amplifying our investment in new worlds that will deepen your love for gaming on Xbox. We embarked on a quest, a quest to find creative teams that have the mastery of our art form. And we found innovative game designers master storytellers said the word exceptional world builders and now i'm proud to introduce the creation of a brand new microsoft studio the initiative we have been for studio Derek okay Gallagher, a visionary storyteller who has worked across so some of the most iconic I'm franchises uh -oh, I'm sorry. for over 20 years Belarus. This new Santa Monica studio is building a team of world-class talent 
to create groundbreaking new game experiences. And next, I'm excited to welcome Undead Labs to Microsoft Studios. I thought we were already a part of this, to be quite honest. This studio caught our attention with their visionary approach to building a zombie survival franchise. They just released their second investigation into the world. Yeah, but they're not going to mention that. And in the first two weeks, over two million of you have joined the fight to survive. Yeah, but it's part of online too. Now, those people could have just picked it's up my the distinct just pleasure to, to announce that, that we have acquired installed. Playground Games. This I don't see why this is big, they just announced some shit that I already thought was exclusive to them anyway. To be honest, they all their incredible but, Woo! They've got four of them! Not like they've not had four since the past, right? like, god knows how many years. They're bringing their open world expertise to an entirely new project. We can't wait to share more about that later. <laughs> and, for the fourth new studio, <laughs> it's my personal Coalition? honor to welcome Ninja Theory oh. to Microsoft Studios. Hot down. They did. Oh, fuck, what's it called now? I met Nina to me when we collaborated. Uh, Hellblades and Lewis, whatever it's called. The original one. Well, I'm not playing yet. And a minute into playing Hellblade, you know you're in the hands of master storytellers who are fearless about telling bold cinematic stories. This is a team gifted in creating new franchises. And yes, we've got a fifth studio to announce. Compulsion Games. Two years ago, oh, we appeared okay. a game we couldn't get out of our heads. A game that captivated us with its strong, fresh, and intense storytelling. I story think people time. are just happy because it's we spelling. Have We're going to give you more exclusives finally. It's nearing its full kind of release thing. to gamers everywhere. Oh, we're working on it. Yeah. So please help me in welcoming all of our new studios. Every single member of each studio is going to come on stage. Right, join us at Microsoft Studios. <laughs> so we'll have the resources, the platform, and creative independence to make big, take bigger yeah. risks, create even bolder worlds for you. Truth is the enemy of happiness. Isn't that the decision we all made? Oh, but you know the truth, don't you? There's not a thing I can tell you that you don't already know. Is there? Have you had your joy, Ollie? People in town are getting a tad bit skinny. I think they're starving to death. And they're painting the streets in f***ing rainbows. Have you not noticed? Oh, Ollie. Why are you all wearing those ridiculous new masks? You should get one. They shape your face into a smile. And when you smile, you can't help being happy. Oh, I don't fucking care. Let's get the fucking stop and battle out. Oh, 
bit longer. All the way is for I'm pretty sure it's not what it looks like on Xbox, it looks like a shit on Xbox. Yeah, it's not No. That's huge. World premiere. Premiere. Is it me or does it say that way? I think it does. What? I what? Do you not know?
the fridge up there. Did you guys hear that? Yeah. Closer this time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, this parachute dropped right through the ceiling. Let me see if I can get this. Oh, that'll come in handy. Rather. Are coming or what? Yeah. I feel like there's some sort of joke about turning up something on there, but okay. It's a deer. Here's the door. Okay, meet us at the sinkhole? Yep. Yeah. Okay, sure. Wow. Okay, definitely from the capital. I think it's some of that. You should have a new side mission on the map. Yeah, we're not that far. Okay, do it after the crash site? Sounds good. They're just ahead of us, Matt. Bye -bye, and I helmet. see you. I'll be up in a sec. No, Can't you start as you do jumping jacks. It's the wall of the division of cat. I've been busy. Toxic chemical residue detected. A lot of blue down there. Hey, you guys should really check this out. Almost there. So that's the control point. The fuck is that? Oh, the point. Big tank. Yep, I see him. Don't aggro him yet. Let me adjust my build. Got my crossbow to get him Oh, uh, maybe the second suit is out. I don't know. Them and get a clear shot. I'll take that sniper on top. Wait for it. Got her. Got that sucker. All gone. Get sucked. Map, get Alright, let me try to get that tank off you. Yeah. More bad guys. Yeah, I'm going to say tank. Oh, crap, right. That's an actual tank. What the fuck is that? Thanks, man. Oh, there's a dude rushing through the plane. Oh, my fucking leg! Yeah, I'll see what I can do. God. That's fine. I'm down. Yeah, I'm down. I'll cover you guys. Come on, come on. Cover it, yes, like, fucking wipe the fuck out, like, it's just like, I'm down. Oh, yeah, just get me off, it's fine. It's not yeah, like I've been shot or something. Oh, crap. Matt, watch out. Setting my drone. Yeah. Setting my drone. Thank you for the revive. Good job, Analyzing ballistic residue. Looks like a rough landing. 
Let's take breath. Do. This is a special time for gamers. We've never had so many incredible games to play. Storied franchises, uncharted worlds, new releases, and cult classics. Uncharted comes back to Genres we love, and genres we love to explore. There's only one problem. Too often we are forced to choose one amazing game over another. So we set out to solve that problem. It's going to be February. And to You're not going to solve question, my problem of February. What if you didn't have to choose? What if you could play them all? The answer? Xbox Game Pass. A way to give not gamers the ultimate freedom. That's already false advertisement. <laughs> and your response has blown us away. Not only are you playing more games, you are spending more time gaming. Freedom of choice is leading to more discovery, more play, and more fun. And we couldn't be more inspired to keep building and unlocking more for you. So for the last year, we've been working on how to give you faster access to all those games. We leveraged the machine learning expertise we have at Microsoft and invented a way to start your games twice as fast. And naturally, we're calling it Fast Start. Unlike the current ready to start system, which is manually configured, Fast Start uses machine learning techniques based on how gamers actually play games. And Fast Start is designed to get better as the algorithms and parameters are refined over time. I'm pleased to announce that Fast Start will launch for select titles in the June update coming later this month. Still not really sure what the fuck that even means. It just sounds like you've renamed ready to start, but okay. Mm. We'll see. Ultimately, it all comes down to the games. We'll continue to deliver iconic favorites like Halo the Master Chief Collection, coming later this year. <laughs> not one guy though. <laughs> We also plan to release all new exclusive games from Microsoft Studios, including Forza Horizon 4, Crackdown 3, and more, into the Xbox Game Pass catalog on the same day as their global release. Every month, we'll also bring new games from leading creative studios into your Xbox Game Pass library. Games like Ashen, Warhammer Vermintide 2, After Party, and Phoenix Point, all available in X Xbox Game Pass the same day I've as I've not heard those last two. <laughs> so that's what's next. But let's talk about what's happening today. Woo! Oh, that was a Clancy's The Division. It's the same guy every time. Woo! The, He's the hype man. <laughs> the Elder Scrolls Online Tamriel Unlimited. And Fallout 4. Boom, boom, boom. All enhanced for Xbox One X in gorgeous 4K. And all of them playable today in Xbox Game Pass. Okay, fair enough. Thank you to all of the developers working with really us it. to bring freedom and choice to gamers. Okay. 
around the world. Here's what's this month has. and is ready to start Thanks, again. Um. The second was right, it said I game change graphical detail like very fast. Is that uh, art style? Okay, I'm right now. I'm just trying to think about her but I think about What? Who's Super Meepo? I want to scream playing that, it's going to be fucking horrible but I'm still going to do it. No, not Sable. Fable. That's what I want. I want it to. Exclusive. They say I'm like Bruce Willis, unbreakable die hard, true sickness, 
I'm weirdly gonna say Tony Hawk because it's very fucking amazing because I don't believe that it is scary. There's no fucking way it's fucking scary. And what do you mean by console launch exclusive? I fucking knew it wasn't scared. I wasn't scared! Not, I mean, I'll play it because it's so much like a good game, but I wasn't fucking scared! <laughs> That's like the biggest dick tease I've ever fucking seen. Exclusive. Don't want to fucking watch you for a minute. They say you won't be I'm not online. Look at my console her. launch exclusive though. I was born three times. What does that mean? Like the first time I saw three times. times. Really? Yeah. My first home was out to me. Like the game already exists, but now it's on it. The curiosity I gained there cost me my first life. I work again in Tarif, the village of the sorcerers. I once thought that this would be my true home. Everything changed when I started to ask the questions. Yeah, I was like, I'm the black stone. What lies beneath the glass letter? Who was it that was calling me from the depths beyond the desert? What was it? The world never paid heed to such questions. We just fought on blindly.
is well. I'm not entirely sure which character is what, but so that what? And directly, the DRK gets you know. I wait for you for this. Thank you so much. DMC is back. English, English is hard. Matt, you do it. <laughs> <laughs> it's been 10 years since Devil May Cry 4 was released, and fans have been asking for a true sequel ever since. So this is our response, loud and clear, that we hear you. Devil May Cry and Hideaki Itsuno. He's got the uh, weird part. Uh, Serious look on. Yeah. Yeah, Devil May Cry, man. <laughs> Fight me about it if Early you want to. the development of Devil May Cry 5, we set our sights yeah. on creating something that's going to have world-class visuals. So we've scanned fully costumed models for all of our main characters, and with the power of Xbox One X, we're able to render them as realistically as possible. Now, while visuals are really important, the controls need to remain tight and responsive as well. So we've gathered the best minds at Capcom to ensure that we can still deliver that amazing gameplay that Devil May Cry is known for. And we think that we've made something that feels better than any action game we've ever created. Hold on, hold on. Itsuzan says that he is convinced that this is the best game that he's ever made because we made it for you, our fans. And we hope you look forward to seeing more. Is he just making that up like an actual translator? I'm kind of curious. Very silly translator. Either that or he has the translation in English for what he said. Maybe. Hmm. This is kind of scary. Okay. Is this a lot better or a brand new cocktail This is I'm not sure if this the original Cuphead was Cuphead in such and such a thing. Mm -hmm. I think it was going to deal with the devil or something like that. Exclusive. Interesting, though. Mm -hmm. I love the outside of Cuphead. Mm -hmm. There's people in there tonight in the woods. Oh. I think. Find the sword, that's what that's what I said. Yeah. I, I got you covered, I can translate this, don't worry. You got everyone covered. And the question. Was that cut there the sequel? That's what that said. Get full. Giant wings. Chunk. I want to play that. That looks so cute. Mm, yes, I think. That yeah. tiny box in a big world is it's a prime tiny. example of the reach of gaming today. A labor of love conceived and created by a single developer in Halifax, Nova Scotia, is today commanding gaming's largest stage. Whether you're sharing the adventure of a tiny fox with more than 20 million viewers on Mixer, or teaming up with Xbox Live friends to slay zombies, 
Gaming is an incredible community. Oh, We've always believed that building community Sable. is Come vital on, for gaming. Sorry, it's fine. Halo, yeah. There's real power yeah. in our shared experience. These were the other T's Halo. Sharing the same world, like well. the same seasons, the same campaigns. And there's real meaning in sharing our love of gaming with fellow gamers. This community is the reason why we love premiering games here at E3. For the rest of our briefing, everything we show you will be world premiere games no one has seen before. <laughs> Starting off with something entirely new from our friends at Bandai Namco. On my last trip to Japan, There's their more. creative team showed me a sneak peek at their next game. Now, you get to see the first look. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there are worlds that exist separate from our own, where the impossible is reality. They consist of both good and evil. These worlds were never meant to meet. But things have changed. Now, they have begun to merge as one. Naruto! And our last hope oh, uh, are the heroes we could only imagine. What? To fight for our oh, it's like an anime game, it's like fighting game. That's kind of cool. That was, I think that was Naruto, so I was just having an anime. Yeah, it's like I'm just walking, it's like I'm Holy shit. Try it, it's gonna be all over, I feel like. It's still got some street fighters, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> I feel like Bandai Namco exclusively like, fighting games, you know? Jump Force. Get tired. You oh, not to the fight. Yeah. Seriously, it's not fucking Rula. That feels like something to be perfect in that game. World Premiere. Premiere. <laughs> Clip. The city is a corpse, and we are the worms. We burrow in it. Yeah, it's all for her. Fighting for every useful game of the world. Well, the world's fault. To preserve ourselves from the terrors of the night. It's and from the horrors rain. of the day. It's <laughs> Zombie based game, I'm sure that's a lot more about survival, isn't it? Odd choice, but okay. Chris Avalon. No, Chris isn't Avalon, no, Chris is Avatar. Yeah, man. Hi, 
I'm Chris Avalon, and I'm excited to be working with Techland to create the world of Dying Light 2. Dying Light 2 is everything you'd expect from a bold sequel of the first game. A fluid parkour system with improved natural movement, deep and tactical first-person melee combat, and of course, terrifying nights when the infected emerge from the depths of the city to feed on anyone they can find. At the same time, we invite you to a new vision of the post-apocalypse, a bleak and unforgiving reality that we call the modern Dark Ages. Today, however, we want to give you a look at one of the impressive new features of Dying Light 2, a technical and narrative advancement for the franchise. Dying Light 2 will be the first in its genre where your choices have genuine consequences to the game itself. Everyone how it that looks, well. how it plays, to the events that occur, them. everything in the game world can change based on your decisions. The following demo throws a bit more light on this. See what you get that. I love the hype now. Yeah. 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 features a functioning ecosystem that reacts on multiple levels to the things you do and the choices you make. In the example we are about to show you, our protagonist undertakes a mission for the Peacekeepers, one of the many factions active in the city. They want you to negotiate with two survivors who are controlling and hoarding a water supply. Let's say you choose to carry out the Peacekeepers' orders one way or another. After this, you will start seeing a significant change in the city as access to the water supply allowed the peacekeepers to bring stability and develop the area. There's even running water from the people at street level, and that raises their morale and allows you to replenish your energy on the go. But there's a cost to this. The PKs have a rigid approach to law and order. So while the streets may be safer, it's only safer for those who side with them. So if you get on their bad side... Now let's return to that moment of choice. And instead of killing them, you choose to team up with this group to supply water on the black market. As you will see, this creates a very different set of consequences for the city. With water being a precious currency, it brings you access to new resources and trade. But this, in turn, attracts the worst type of people to the area. And this is just a single decision. One out of hundreds will have to be begin. But it allows you to carve out your own world. Is there a big Each player's on the game people? experience will be unique. And by the way, this is just what happens in the day. At night, well, things tend to get a lot darker. Okay, good. It looks like Dying Light 2 is going to be all about people, and it's like, okay, that's a nice thing on this book. It was a zombie car program, and that's why it was Exclusive good. world premiere. I'm going to keep half of that for me. A lot of time has passed. You've gotten soft, complacent. You always knew this day would come. I feel like I should know what You always knew the three of you would be needed again. You always... Wait. What? What is it? Oh. 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 No, I don't like it. A, a brand game. new game featuring body morphing genre mashups, three player couch co op, 4K hand drawn 2.5D graphics, and broad non specific feature declarations. They're back. <laughs> World premiere. Premiere here, <laughs> I was born to fight 
worse than no one we could win. Just cause? There was no fear. No failure. But the rules have changed. The enemy changed. And no one was ready for it. Skarnix have got a lot of shit going on at the moment. The Black Hand. They are the world's most powerful private army. But even they should fear what they've created. This is in a war, Rico. This is survival.
deny it, it's all true. Everybody still wants to live here. You see, he's always got a promise for you. Might be a lie, an illusion. It's there, just around the corner. And it keeps you going. What the fuck? You had no knife ready. And I'm a big dreamer. in February as well. Yeah, probably. February 2077. Real strange to go from The Witcher to that. Oh, yeah. Well, then I want to talk about Halo. No, then you do fucking bullshit. Tell us about Halo and then it's it top when you shut off like two years later. It's been so long since we've done a Halo game, like, what the fuck are you doing? You can fuck off as well, you're not scared, stop it. I mean, I'm fine, you look, you look good enough, I'm still, I'm still fine with playing that, but it's not scared, I am not scared. Is that legitimately an actual game? I'm a but I definitely want to play the game. I thought Gears of Funko was just like a little joke because it went immediately into the fun. So he was like, ah, I'm just kidding. Seriously, mm -hmm. I'll talk you through. Run, run my boy Kinefia. Okay. It was very much in the front of the story. It was pretty much more in the middle of the story. Tell us about it then! I want to know what the fuck that is! Oh, you suck dick. Why? Why are you like this, Microsoft? Anyway, it appears that's the end of the Microsoft conference. What were you thoughts, well, your thoughts on that? Well, I'm pissed we didn't get to see more Halo. But there are several games that I can already tell I'm going to be putting on my list. Mm -hmm. so, what did you think of that? I thought it was a better conference than last year, I'm interested in Gears, Halo, in like nine years when they actually fucking release it. Life is Strange, obviously. Yeah. Like, even though it doesn't look like, doesn't yeah. actually feel it's, like the like, same form the same, as a Life is Strange. It's in the same, like, universe as Life is Strange, but it's not like a Life is Strange game. It's within the same universe, but it's a separate thing, kind of thing. I assumed it was Life is Strange, the adventures of Super Captain w Waffle Waffle Bottom, whatever the fuck is now. I don't know. We'll, I don't know. We'll look into it later. Anyway, we'll be back at some point with the Bethesda conference, which we'll be going up at some point. There's also Square Enix, Sony and Nintendo still to go. I might have missed one. I'm not too sure about that. Would you like to sign us off, dude? No, I think you can do it this time. I don't lost All right, in a bit. Bye. Bye.